What's up YouTube? Back to Sons of the Tallapoosa Outdoor Journal. Here on a trip down the Tallapoosa Day, you can see we are at lovely Miller Bridge, Horseshoe Bend Park on the Tallapoosa. Here with Tallapoosa Angler out here. Me and him about to go down the river. It's a little low. It's mighty hot. It's July 1st and it's 9.15 in the morning and it is currently almost 90 degrees so um got a little breeze blowing uh, and a little late getting started here but uh stick around we'll see what we can come up with i got the first another day here <clears throat> pretty little talapusa bass Hit the old black beetle spin. Oh, decent fish. Spot Alabama bass. Yeah, I say decent, decent what I've been catching. Small bass. Look at that lump in him. We need crow dads or something. Snuck in behind this lay down tree here and was able to catch a nice bluegill that was on the bed back here. <laughs> Look at him. Big old bird. Look at that bluegill. Oh. That's a pretty bluegill. I normally catch a big old pretty. Oh golly, that was a huge shell cracker. Come up, just hit that thing. Uh, I got both these cameras going, so. That was a monster shell cracker. Yep, I got a good fish. Oh yeah, Mike, I got a big one. There's about five with him. Oh man. Oh, man. 
I swear to God, there's a bunch of them in there. Throw. Look at him. Good Alabama bass. Good. Throw his lizard in there. Yep. <clears throat> Find a rock. <clears throat> oh, don't get in that rock. I got him out, Monday. Oh, yeah. First cast on old lizard. Six inch zoom. It's done lost its color, lizard. Good one. I told you it was stacked up in there. Oh, yeah. yeah, this uh, this lizard has no real color. It was a six inch zoom that at one time in its life was red bug. Yeah, it got to touching a bunch of other baits and made this funky color. It looks half red bug, half gourd green. And I said, dang, that thing looks good. So there's another. No, oh, missed him. I've also caught a lot of them in the past couple years on a baby brush hog in a uh, uh, big Texan color. Oh, oh, he come loose. I didn't let him take it enough. I saw him come over that rock and get it. And he done took my tail off my pretty, my pretty lizard. I got a color that's traditionally been good up here. Uh, I mean, your brother used to wear them out on this color. Chartreuse pepper. Chartreuse pepper. We catch a lot of fish on this color on Lake Martin too. Didn't really ever say nothing much about it. Didn't many people throw it. Mm. Them spots in the wintertime eat that thing up on Carolina rig. <clears throat> I might just tell, tell us a little bit about your channel and your kayak there. What you what are you running right there? Uh, Chalapoose Outdoor Adventures. And I usually fish out this little old vibe kayak right here. And uh, this part of the river I'm real familiar with. Been down this this little stretch lots and lots of times. Caught lots and lots of fish. Yep. You, what kind of rods and reels you? Oh, down, what you throwing today? Just today, just uh, just a couple of uh, my river rods. I'm gonna lose any of my high dog stuff. Just throw a beetle spin. Got a shaky head on there. Uh, that's pretty much my go-to on this part of the river. Ten four. Guess we'll go on down to the next pool. Hey, must throw that in his mouth. Oh yeah, a little Talapusa bass with a beautiful coloration.
Come back, got it. Hey, come back and got it, baby. I see you just couldn't stand it, could you? No, you just couldn't stand it, could you? He hit it twice and then followed it and finally nipped at it again enough to get it. Oh, I love it when a fool. best part of it yet. I catch a lot of them right there. That one does not fool out of this thing. Yep, there he is. Pretty red up.
Hey, come on, got it on top. I guess it's come off. Dad, come it. Dad, come it. Come back, got it then, baby. Good one. I got a problem. I mean, reels locking up. Oh, it's wrapped up. The braid. Clean my glass and sweat getting to me.
Look at this bluegill and a big old bass following him trying to get it out of his mouth. Another big old pretty bluegill. Let's see if I can get that bass. This is like one of them brim I'm looking for. Yep. Look at this bluegill. I have caught some big brim today, folks. I mean, I wish I had about 50 of them that size clean neat. Boy, they are fine eating. That is a beautiful, beautiful Talapusa River bluegill. And yeah, I dropped a bunch of them because I'm trying to hold them for the camera so y'all can see. But look. And just look how fat he is, how big that fish is. Beautiful, beautiful colors. That idiot hit the thing swivel. Fish. Feels like another brim with like head shape. Yep, I think so. Yep, another brim. Another bluegill. And he ain't quite as pretty as the others. This is more of a female, I believe. Maybe a male. <laughs> Got him. Pretty bluegills have been biting today.
Oh yeah. Boy, come up and got that. Pretty spot. Oh, it's gonna be a big old brim. Another pretty bluegill. I should have kept some of these today. That ain't good tonight. Come and got it. And look here, it's our first red breast of the day. Yeah, if you watched any of my other videos, you'll see I've caught a lot, I've caught a lot of these red breast sunfish. Some of them been a whole lot more colorful than this one. Still got the pretty orange and turquoise fine eating fish. And slipper is owl hockey, might I? Well, we are <clears throat> done with our trip down to Tallapoosa today. Very low conditions, a lot of bumping and grinding, a lot of aggravation, but we caught some fish. Caught some some red eyes or Tallapoosa bass and some Alabama bass or spots and caught a couple different uh, species of panfish with bluegill and red ear sun for red breast sunfish I should say lost a red ear at one time but um, anyway you know what I want to tell you is is that you, know, you don't have to have a lot of expensive equipment to get out and do this on the river you know I I'm fishing with a ugly stick rod that might have cost me, I think that one probably is most expensive one I have. I take the river and it's like $49. But it's my ultralight. And then I have a another one that I just bought from Academy. In fact, I used two Academy rods with $19 a piece, just H2OX. And that's what I caught the majority of my fish on today was that H2OX. And can't beat it. I mean, you're not, when you're ultralight fishing, you don't need a whole lot of a whole lot of expensive stuff but you know this is Tallapoosa angler here so <clears throat> tell uh tell them a little bit about what you use in your kayak it's the same thing i use the uh i use an academy rod um and you don't want to take a real expensive rod out there just in case you do turn over and the other rod i had i actually found on this river about five years ago and i've been using it ever since so nothing super expensive got out there i caught over 30 fish you caught over 30 fish good day man it was a good day real hot but stayed hydrated and uh, good day so again if you enjoy this hey like and subscribe comment it means the world to me i'd i'd appreciate knowing that people enjoy uh what we're putting out i mean it's just simple country boy outdoors here but this is all videos about stuff you can come do so you know all this is just public stuff i mean this is talapusa river put in at one spot get out on the other get out and try it Sons of the Tallapoosa Outdoor Journal out.